Well, things continue to heat up in the Columbia class program as that program continues to come to life. Aaron Pritchett takes us to the foundry to show us how. Shipbuilding is challenging, ever changing, and truth be told, quite fascinating. And whether it's an aircraft carrier or a submarine, it's a very meticulous process. And one that all begins in liquid form in one of Newport News Shipbuilding's oldest and well-renowned facilities, better known as the foundry where high temperatures, heavy lifting, mesmerizing metallurgy, and safe shipbuilders are the key ingredients to success. And most recently, with the largest casting pool required at over 21,000 pounds for the new Columbia class submarine program. This is where it all starts. This is where it all begins. The foundry is strong. It'll always be strong. The foundry is, is the lifeblood of the shipyard. We make small parts, large parts, medium parts for aircraft carriers, submarines, and a lot of other Navy vessels that are in the fleet. It takes about two years from start to finish, from a basic drawing to the casting, leaving the back door. It's exciting. It, it gets everybody working as a team to make this happen. Very proud of that. We're now getting into the Columbia class submarine, which is a brand new submarine which brings its own challenges. And today we're pouring one of the largest pours for the Columbia class. The pour weight of the casting would be about 21,000 pounds. First and foremost is our safety. We do have uh, proper PPE when we're dealing with this type of heat. And uh, it's just an ongoing process with us and we got to stay prepared and we got to stay alert. It calls for both furnace to be running. It calls for two ladles to, to take down to the job. The poor job is about 2850. So yes, we're working with some serious heat in, in here and uh, we communicate with, with, with each other and uh, everybody else is uh, involved. We communicate with them. So communication is the key to being successful in this type of pour. Looks fairly easy. We just melt metal and dump it in the mold, but, but it's, it's very complex. The chemistry part of the process is at the very beginnings when we're melting the metal, but it affects the casting throughout the process. We have to get it right. It's, it's the first part of this new class of submarine, and we, we will get it right. Basically, being in here for 42 years and operating this crane, and coming up and down these tracks, we have to be conscious of everything that's around us. We have to sometimes have four eyes instead of two. I've told it's an easy job, you know, you sit down all the time. But handling this metal, when I pick up a ladle of metal and start going down the floor, again, I have to watch everything. It's in my hands. And without these cranes moving this metal, we can't do any jobs at all. You have to keep an eye on your rigger, coming over top of that mold and doing what needs to be done. The operator has to be precise. He has to be careful. He has to be direct. The pattern making, molding, and and pouring operations are only about 10 to 15 percent of the process. It's a very complex operation that, that has many different parts to make one casting. Pattern, mold, melting all have to come together as, as one team to make this happen. It's not three or four separate organizations. It's one foundry with different parts that work together to make, to make it look easy to get the casting out of the back door. I think it's good to change things up because the next generation coming in to stay afloat in this type of industry, we have to change and go with new ideas. And whatever the Navy asks us to do, we have to be on our toes to be able to do it and always be a good ship and have good quality in what we do. So I think it's a, it's a new beginning for the shipyard. Definitely quite a process the greatest shipbuilders in the world make look pretty easy, but one that is a critical start in casting the various components that will eventually be put together to bring the Columbia class submarine program to life and serve this great country for future generations. For Focus NNS, I'm Aaron Pritchett. Back to you, Brian. All right, seeing that work in the foundry never gets old. Thanks so much, Aaron, for that report.